How to use lures to get the new legendary pets in Adopt Me. There are two different types of lures. One of them costs you bucks and the other one costs you robux which is actually very expensive. You go and place the lure inside of your house and you can go and use of all things cookies which is great. So you have the campfire cookie bait and here are the odds. So you can get bucks, you can get an age potion, you can get accessories, a paint sealer which is great because that normally costs you robux. So one in 50 of these will give you a Robux item. And then one in 1.49% will give you an ultra rare. And there's actually two different types of ultra rares you can get. And then one in 0.01% is the legendary. Now, let me just give you a bit more of an understanding of how rare 0.01% is. Well, you'd have to go and use the lure 10 thousand times to have a 100% success rate using the maths of 100 divided by 0.01. And once you go and use these cookies, you have to wait four hours, which means you'd have to wait, which means this would take you 40,000 hours to get one legendary, also known as 1,666 days of playing Adopt Me non-stop. That means you'd have to be playing Adopt Me while you're sleeping for four and a half years straight to get this one legendary. So for all of you who are gonna be confused as of why this pet has such an insane value, well, if you happen to have four and a half years spare of casually dedicating your life to clicking use bait, then congratulations. It turns out that there are two different types of baits as mentioned. And this, these are all of the prizes. These petwares do look pretty decent to be fair. And again, I imagine those will withhold a pretty high value. And there is a chance of four fire pets, four. We have the ultra rare magma snail. So obviously we're gonna be going and hatching some of these lures today, but I don't think my odds are gonna be in my favor of getting any of these pets, but we have the Magma Snail, which is pretty cool. Up next is the Ultra Rare Toasty Red Panda, which personally, I think this looks absolutely adorable. This looks great. I know all of you guys are gonna say, oh, it's just a new Red Panda. Yeah, it is, but it's a toasty one. This one's got flames coming out of it. Its tail is awesome. It kind of reminds me of the movie called Big Red or something from Disney, but this one's really cool looking. And obviously, that is the legendary. But first, we've got the ultra rare molten moose, which is a very funny looking pet. He's got like lava dripping out of its face. This is a really fun design. And honestly, I wasn't expecting a molten moose to be added. And then the best thing possible. This might be the craziest pet to ever exist in Adopt Me is the legendary blazing lion. Now, if you are able to go and get this item, the item that would take you four and a half years of playing Adopt Me non-stop using their laws, you would be one of the luckiest people in the world because barely any of these things are going to exist for, all, for ages, for literally years, barely anyone's gonna have this pet. So if you were the first person to go and get the legendary blazing lion out of your lure, then you could trade this easily for neon shadow dragons or the craziest pets possible, just based on the fact alone that this takes one in 10,000 odds. I mean, the pet looks great. It's awesome. It's a legendary and it is truly the best legendary and rarest legendary to exist. So these pets are very hard to capture and you can go and get the lore books for 750 bucks. For all of the people who have been complaining, saying that it takes too long. Well, I saw that the, well, a staff at Adopt Me went and said that they kind of want this to be similar to how the star rewards work. That once you have a good enough login or you've played for a long enough time, it is to incentivize players who log in and spend time playing Adopt Me to go and get all of these rare pets. So it's not really a pet that you're gonna get instantly. It's not a pet that you're gonna get in one week or a month. It's a pet that will probably take most players many years to get. And the fact that this involves absolutely no Robux to get one of the rarest pets in existence 
is great. If you're able to go and get the rarest lion, then you could easily trade this to become one of the richest players in the game instantly. All it takes is you going and hatching it. Because I know there's going to be 10,000 people watching this video. At least one of you guys watching this video is going to get the lion based purely out of maths. Now, if you want to increase your chances of going and getting the legendary, you can purchase a second home. Now, this second home doesn't give you any extra odds. The only thing it does is allows you to have two equipped at the same time. This one costs you 1,200 Robux, which is a very expensive game pass, and I really wasn't expecting it to be that much. But Adopt Me really, really wants those pets to have some of the highest values possible. And if they made it a cheap game pass, then it kind of would defeat the point of that. So 1,200 Robux, absolutely insane. And to go and purchase these, they're gonna be in the new stuff lures section. You can only have one of these equipped per house. And if you go and place it in another house, it will go and remove it from the other one. So I don't recommend going and trying some glitch to like infinitely move it. That does not work. And this is the only way you can have two lures equipped at the same time. For any of you guys who have gone and made some of the Ash Zebra lures or the Campfire Cookies, you can go and use the lures slightly differently. You go and place the lure bait that hopefully you guys have gone and got, which we are about to go and do. So if you go into your food and search bait and you got some, the Ash Zebra bait, 100% chance of getting a ash zebra and this one 100% chance of getting a flaming zebra you could get multiple of these but you had to go and get the melons but you could only get one ash zebra per account which is definitely interesting so we're going to be going and getting these very soon again once you equip these it goes and takes a smaller duration than going and getting it half an hour for each of these items and you get 100% chance of getting the pet so I'm excited to actually go and get these pets and the only way to get them was through the fire dimension which you won't actually be able to go in ever again which is crazy. I really thought this event would be longer but this is a very interesting update. So we've got these baits, let's go and use them and then also use up some cookies in hopes that I get the legendary. Imagine if I get the legendary, that'd be insane. I'm gonna try and purchase the cozy home lure right now, but it says we cannot go and purchase it. The lures are out, let's go and be the first person to go and purchase one and place a bait down. So we're gonna start off with the Ash Zebra. And now I have to wait half an hour to go and get the pet. What happens if we try and clone it? Do we get charged? Do I want to purchase this? I guess it doesn't actually allow you to clone it, which logically makes sense. I mean, you can change the color of it if you want to. You can also go and make it bigger so it looks massive, but the food stays the same size. Now we just have to patiently wait the half an hour. As for purchasing this, it currently doesn't want to let anyone go and buy it. I think the Game Pass might be broken. It says the item is not for sale. Your account has not been charged. For now, we all have to wait four hours until we can find out what the first lure goes and gets us. But I'll be making a separate video where I go and open a bunch of these and get all of your guys' openings featured in a video. Show me what you get out of a lure, go and tag me on Twitter, and I'll feature it in the next video. You need to watch this video where I give away free Neon Legendary pets in Adopt Me. Click here to watch.